Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here, and welcome to the 2017 wrap video. And this one is going to be about the products that for me were the ones that I started using this year and I continue to use. Some of these products I'm going to be shooting more in-depth videos for both the C47 and Able Cine but I wanted to just talk about these today. I'm also embracing the fact that I'm in the Pacific Northwest now. I think I need to do that. So if you hear a little bit of rain, it's raining behind me and that's just the way it's gonna be for a number of months going forward. So where do I start? I think I'm gonna start actually with this right here and it's not my iPhone that I'm gonna talk about. It's this little meter here. It's called the Lumu Power. And it is both an incident meter, here you'll see the, the half dome, and then here we have this flat surface side here, and this is the color meter. And the fact that for under $300 US with a smartphone that you can walk around and have both an incident meter and a color meter, and by the way, a color meter that will work with modern LED fixtures and fluorescent fixtures and things like that. And I can just go ahead and take a reading there and you can see it's starting to become end of day so it's telling me here that i have a zero green shift or magenta shift which is awesome that it tells you that and it tells me that i'm close to 7300 kelvin right now so having this in my pocket all the time along with the fact that i have that incident meter is great it's not going to replace a meter like the c700 from Sekonic which has a lot more information that it can give you in terms of CRI and TLCI, but it will be something that I think a lot of people will like to have with them in production, especially because we're using all of these fixtures and not all of them have a green magenta shift in the actual lighting fixture. Okay, number two, speaking of lighting, this little light right here, it's an inexpensive, less than $300 light as well. It's called the Luxly Viola. I'm going to turn this thing on. It's an RGBA light and it is dimmable. It also will go in the first mode here from 3000 all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin in terms of its temperature. And then I can switch it over to basically a hue and intensity mode. No saturation, but hue and intensity. And it has a 360 degree color wheel here. So this has been uh, a great little light that I've been using as a little background light, runs off of your standard Sony uh, NPF batteries. So that's the Luxly Viola. That's number two on my 2017 list. I'm gonna get this one out of the way. Hard drive. This is from Glyph. This is the Atom SSD. This sucker is fast, uh, plugs into my MacBook Pro into the USB-C port and I can get 800 megabytes per second. I'm editing a lot of UHD content now, some DCI 4K content, especially now with this camera here, which I'll talk about in a second. And this little drive here is two terabytes. So basically it is a two one terabyte drives inside of here striped to a RAID zero. This sucker is fast. I love those little drives. <laughs> Okay, number three, it is the focus monitor from Small HD. Uh, yet to install the 3.0 software into that and also the 13 inch monitor I have of theirs. But I love this little monitor, less than $500 US, uh, bright enough to actually see outside, which I love, high knit value. And I actually have it attached right now, not to their standard attachment. This is the Cameo swivel mount, which is a friction based mount, which I generally use for small monitors like this. I love this thing. I use this for monitors all of the time. I'm also using some other Cameo products now, including their uh, VESA mount, which is great, which goes right to a 5 8 uh, stud. And then I can put monitors on that. In fact, I have the Sumo monitors from Atomos that I'm testing right now. And I'm using that Cameo mount on that. And there'll be a video coming up on those products soon, the 19 and the 19M, which are very, very interesting. And I like what I'm seeing with those. Um, okay, so there you go. Now, uh, lens wise, I think there's a, a couple of things I like. The 21 to 100, which I shot a video for Able this year on, which is their uh, lightweight zoom. I really like that lens. And they now have a set of four 
Milvis lenses, which are all new designs. These are all super speed, so they're all in F1.4. There's a 25, there's a 35, there's a 50, which I have on here with one of their lens gears, and then there's an 85. And I think uh, three more things to talk about. This one right here, I'm gonna be shooting a video on very shortly. Um, I didn't know anything about this product. I had heard about the Infinity Arm from Matthews. I've been using Matthews products for a long time. In fact, I've been using their Mini Mathalinis for a long time. And I finally got an Infinity Arm system and I started to play with it and I realized that it was kind of like the little things that I've been putting together for a number of years using nano clamps and spigots and adapters and stuff like that. So. You know, it is an arm that you could use for a monitor and you can pop in uh, quarter 20 and then three eighths little attachments. But the thing that's amazing about the Infinity Arm, besides the fact that it's incredibly strong, is the fact that it has all of these cool attachments. Here's a super clamp. Um, you just go ahead and you pop it in. So you basically loosen this joint here, you pop this in, it won't come out because there's a release on the side right here. There's a little release. And now I could put something else on the other side. Let's just say I wanted to have a 5.8 stud here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press the release down, pop that in. And then just like any other articulating arm, I'm gonna tighten that down. And you can see that it's rock solid here. So I've got a super clamp on one side. I've got a 5.8 stud on the other. Pretty, pretty amazing in terms of what you can do. My favorite little guy right here. That's the uh, mini Mathalini, loosen it up here, press on the release button, pop that in, tighten it down. Now I have a mini Mathalini on one side here, which I can use that open jaw there and I can attach to anything. And on the other side right now, I just happen to have a 3 8 So an incredibly modular system in terms of the infinity arm and that whole system in general. Last two things, very surprised about this one. In fact, I just came back from California and I just shot an eight part series for Canon on the EOS C200. Um, I was really torn about this camera in the beginning because it was kind of amazing that you were getting, uh, you know, a raw recording camera here to CFast 2.0 cards. And this Cinema Raw light codec is pretty amazing. Um, DCI 4K and then now you're recording UHD to these SD cards and you're only 8-bit. But again, Canon has kind of surprised us. And when I'm working with these files, these UHD files, properly exposed and white balanced, I'm pretty amazed at what I can do. It's only a Rec. 709 camera when you're recording to SD cards. Um, it's wide color gamut and full dynamic range from the sensor when you're recording to the CFast cards. But I am gonna see a lot of this camera in my future in terms of production. That's kind of why the C200 has become my, I would say my favorite camera of 2017. And again, I know what the downsides are, but at least for somebody like me, that does a lot of educational content. I'm very oftentimes operating by myself or with a very small crew. I can see this camera being, again, sort of two cameras in one. We've got the, you know, the recording to the SD cards, which would be day in, day out, web-based stuff. But then when I need that hero footage or I need to shoot something higher end, I can do that to the CFast cards or shoot with a C300 Mark II. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about today is this tripod here. And this is made by Cartoni. There uh, are a number of innovations that are coming out in tripod systems. And it's really about speed here. Now I'm used to using most of the time tripods that don't have spreaders. And I like those because of their flexibility when I'm setting them up, especially on uneven surfaces. And I also like the fact that I can break them down very, very quickly. And I'm kind of feeling like this SDS tripod with a mid-level spreader is giving me the rigidity that I like out of a mid-level spreader tripod, but also some of that modularity and quick setup and breakdown that I get out of sticks that don't have a spreader. Um, I like it a lot. And as you can see here, 
one of the things is that you can just open it up very, very quickly and you can also break it down very, very quickly. And this little lever here on the side, when you use this to just close everything up, I think is one of the things that really makes this tripod. So there you go. That's my 2017 short list of products that I really, really like. There's other stuff, but this is what I found in the shop to show you guys. Thanks for watching.